Hello and welcome to Gaming U. Today we're looking at Robocraft's aerofoils and thrusters. Aerofoils or wings are used to create aircraft. Scouts or bombers, or in some special cases a combination of ground vehicle and aircraft or helicopter and plane. The first thing you need to be sure of when creating an aircraft is balance. Most planes are lightly framed and armoured, so making a front or back heavy plane will make flight either very difficult or impossible. So try to mirror every component, and space out your equipment so that the weight is evenly distributed. Make heavy use of the practice arena to test your designs. The second thing is weight. You need your plane to at least take off, and without enough thrust or aerofoils, it will never get off the ground. So create the lightest frame you can, and add slowly, testing each version to find the sweet spot of weight. In addition to aerofoils, you will need to add rudders at the back of your plane to help steer and direct your aircraft. Just like on a real plane, you'll need three rudders to make an agile plane. Lastly, make sure you stick to one type of plane, as hybrids rarely work. If you're making a bomber, then add more armor and shields, as you'll be flying high and slow. If you're making a scout or interceptor or fast attack aircraft, then keep your frame light, small and fast. Aircraft are often easy pickings for rail and SMG based vehicles, so make sure to either use evasive maneuvers or keep very much away from them if you can. Aircraft are the most difficult robot to pilot in Robocraft, so spend as much time as you can in the practice arena to get to grips on how your aircraft will handle. Thrusters are the key to a lot of vehicles in Robocraft. They boost your speed in whatever direction they are facing, and in the case of aircraft, give it the capability to fly. For ground-based robots, thrusters can increase your speed by boosting what your movement blocks already give you. Wheel-based robots can benefit a lot from some well-placed boosters, especially when overclocked. Even tank tracks can get a small increase in speed. Hover your mouse over each component in the cube shop to see how much speed can be increased by boosters. Much like when building an aircraft, boosters can be problematic if placed incorrectly, so try to keep them lower down and to the center of the gravity of your robot to avoid shooting off into the sky or flipping over. Thrusters can be very vulnerable to incoming fire, so do remember to protect them with shields or blocks so that they're not destroyed. If you're using a helicopter, try adding some boosters, not only to aid in forward movement, but also in upwards and sidewards movement, so that your helicopter can ascend and turn quickly to get out of trouble. Finally, there are some exotic designs using thrusters and helium blocks known as drones. These are incredibly hard to fly robots that rely purely on thrusters and helium to move. They will often stay at the maximum height in the game and snipe or scout, so feel free to try making one of these. So it's time to take to the skies, or boost your robot speed with thrusters. Tune in to GamerU for more tips, tricks and tutorials.